Hey, mga kapangs! Sir JJ Lucas of Chestnut Studios. <laughs> Sir, sobrang salamat. Hi. Napaka-overwhelming naman to na paunlakan niyo yung invitation ko, sir. No problem. <laughs> okay, sir. Sir, ah... Uh, okay. okay naman, sir. At tawag ito, naisipan ko kasi ito, sir, pagkatapos ko gumawa ng video, sinare ko yung kung paano ko nagumpisa sa photography. And then, it comes to okay. my mind, sabi ko, Bakit hindi ko itry mag-PM sa mga inuidulo kong mga studio owner kung paano din ba talaga sila nag-umpisa? And then sir, ikaw ang unang-una kong inimbitahan. Ikaw yung unang-unang pumasok sa isip ko. Sabi ko, itatry ko to si Sir JJ. Alam ko mabait eh. <laughs> Salamat, sir. Sir JJ of Chestnut Studios, mga kaibigan. Mga kapangs. Sir, tawag ko sa mga nanonood sa akin, kapangs. Bago ko lang na ano yun eh. Bakit kapangs, sir? Kapangs. <laughs> Ayan. Kasi yun yung dun sa video ko, uh, sabi ko, isa ko dun sa mga gustong may mga pangarap, sir. So, kaya pangs. <laughs> mga pa- may mga pangarap. Ayan. <laughs> okay, yun eh. Okay. okay, sir. Okay, sir. Punta tayo dun sa unang tanong ko, sir. Paano nagsimula ang JJ Lucas sa photography? Paano nagsimula ang Chestnut Studios? Ah, okay. Medyo mahaba yun. Shortcut version. Sige, sir. Ah, uh, sige. Ano ba? 2000, 2006. No? Ay, may accident ako napunta sa uh, wedding photography. So, uh, may work ako dun, pero parang hobby ko yung photography. Sir, so, anong work mo? Malaman lang, mal- matanong ko lang. Before, uh, several eh, nag-ano ako muna. After graduation, nag-volunteer work ako for uh, Purpose Driven Ministry. So, kami yung, if you're familiar or if you heard about yung Purpose Driven Life book, Mm-hmm. Hindi. Uh, basta it's a book that we yes, sir, uh, ano yun, spread na, around. Na, I know it. Yes, yes, Ayun. So, kami nag-ikot nun sa Philippines. So, ako yung part ng communication sila. So, I was, ako yung nag-picture. Um, like, pagka puta kami sa mga different provinces. So, kaya nahilig talaga ako sa photography. And then, After nun, yan, at the same time, yun, parang I found by accident itong uh, may nag-talk sa church namin, isang photographer siya. His name was John Ong. Tapos, yung talk niya was about uh, wedding photography. So, ako nun, ang, in my mind kasi, uh, interested ako about it. And, yung un, pagpasok ko dun, inisip kasi yung mga photographer would be Pag sa wedding yung mga naka barong, naka, I mean, naka ano pa nun eh. Pagka, naka-attend lang naman ng wedding before, tapos yung pag kumakain ka, biglang may, excuse me, may picture tayo ng group, parang ganun. So I thought it was mga manong, yun yung, yun ano ko, mga manong yung mga uh, wedding photographer. Yeah, but when I met si John Ong, Nagulat ako na parang, uy, there's art in uh, doing wedding photography. Tapos, uh, nag-present siya doon ng mga photos. Eh. Tapos, ang galing. And then, at that time, sabi niya, I'm thinking of forming a, uh, a apprenticeship program for photographers. Sabi niya, just send your application, ganyan. So, nag-apply ako. Uh, I went to his uh, studio noon in Aurora. And... Uh, lakas loob lang. Pagdating ko dun, it's like more than like a hundred people over there. No? So, nag- May bayad yun, sir? May bayad? Wala. Wala, wala. Walang bayad. Uh, basta, you come in, uh, listen, tapos uh, submit application. Tapos, paano ka mag-a-apply, di ba? Sabi niya, basta submit mo lang. I will look over your 
stops. Hindi kailangan na like, professional ka na or like may experience ka na. Basta, pag-pray daw niya kung sino yung tatanggapin yung 12. 12 lang ha. 12 out of the 100. So, sige. Submit lang ako. Tapos yun, after, ano, naka, na shortlist niya ako. Tapos sa interview kami. Tapos yun, part, naging nag-start na kami nung 12 kami. And then, uh, doon nag-start yung journey as a apprentice for uh, Imagination Studios. Ka nun. Imagination you know, Studios. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, uh, actually, uh, just to share, you know, first, hindi uh, di, di pa kami pinapashoot doon nung pumunta kami doon. Na, when you start, hindi kami na, hindi kami bila, okay, pasok agad sa wedding. And then, and then, it was, series of weekly meetings kami and bago kami uh, in-assign to observe for a wedding. So yung first wedding na uh, uh, nag-assist ako. So pag-assist nun, it was like you're the third, uh, third photographer. No? So parang nasalim po ka. Mm, so you, walang... Nakandid. Nakandid. Wala kang responsibility na mabigat. Basta i-feel mo lang yung wedding. Pero nung pumasok kami doon, wala kaming orientation. Parang, sige, pasok ko na lang. And then, check mo muna. So, naka-over, uh, naka-overwhelm siya. And then, uh, what happened was... May TF na ba doon? Wala pa? Wala pa. Wala pa. Okay. Yung nga yung ano, yung may whole apprenticeship uh, program. I think it was six months hmm. na apprentice ako. Six months, four months, four to six months. Walang ano yun. So, ano, okay. twin weekend lang in store kasi may work ka? Weekend. Uh, okay. Weekend lang siya. So, walang TF yun. Kasi yung habol mo dun, parang learning ka talaga yun. Uh, walang ano yung money nun yun. Parang, of course, kailangan at that time. But, parang, ang sinasabi is always, ano yun, yung lukat na money. Kasi kung money-money lang, you can start on your own naman. Because you want to really learn and love it. You just want to discover your passion. You need to do it. So, that's it. Because yung first wedding, I'm just going to go back. I don't want to. That's my first shoot. Because I don't know what I'm doing. So, she said to me, Oh, why are you giving up? Because she was going to go back. And, ayun ko, kasi parang kala ko nun, ma- ma- maayos naman akong shooter. Pero pagdating dun, parang akong, yun yeah, nga, short ng amote, parang, hindi na ko yung shots ko, just, ang pangit, ganyan. And, uh, so, encourage naman niya ako na, na try it again, try it again. So, Sir, matanong lang, anong camera ang gamit mo nun? Noon, ano, Canon, anong gamit ko nun? Canon na 20D. Sir, ano year yan? Matanong lang din, para... Ano 2000, 2006 yata, 2006-2007, parang ganyan. Tapos, sir, gamit mong lens nun? Hindi naman kit lens. Kit lens eh, wait lang. Kit lens yata, 50, parang ganyan. Kit lens lang. Kit lens lang. Oh. Sobrang, ano lang, um, basic, yan ano. Um, so, yung mentor ko nun, Nikon siya eh. So, parati niya yung namin yung Canon sa akin. Ay, kailangan mo na mag-shift. So, syempre, ang mat, wala naman budget to to shift to Nikon pa nun. So, Pero tsaga tsaga lang. Pero kailangan yung camera niya? Anong Nikon yun? Nikon, ano siya nun eh? D... D200 yata? D200. So, Parang ganun. Ah, okay, sir. 200. Sir, ayaw ko nabutan niyo pa. <laughs> so, old school na nun. <clears throat> Yun. Um, then, so, from Apprentice, ang program namin was, uh, if you get promoted, magiging junior ka. Magiging naging junior ka, magiging senior ka. Pag yung senior ka, magiging master photographer ka. So, sa junior, yun. Doon ka na may TF. Doon pa lang. So, sa amin ng mga 12, 12 kami nun, di ba? But, uh, hindi lahat nag-stay. So, parang weeding out process siya. Yung mga talagang uh, 
gusto, gusto talaga at nag, nag, nag persevere in yung natira. Uh, but the rest, either they found other work or nag-ilong bansa or nawala lang sa ano. May iba nag-stay pa rin, pero forever naging apprentice. Para never na sila ano, for Chile, uh, the mentor na yung check also yung growth mo, kung deserving ka, kung uh, nasipag ka, and then, of course, yun, may mapapromote ka. So yun, dinanan ko lahat yun. Wow. Sir, may question ako din ah. Yung time ba na yun, registered na studio owner nun? Yes, so, oh. registered siya nun. Okay. okay, sir, continue tayo. Yun. So, yung maganda sa amin yun, it was a big, it was a team na, he wanted to form a, a team. So imagine mo, 12 kami nun. Nung tumagal-tagal kami, shortcut na lang siya. So, naging solid kami as a team. You know? uh, in, in a day, parang mga 3 to 4 weddings kami out. Imagine mo, that is how big the team was. Photo and may parang video pa kami mga kasama. Sir, mga gano'ng katagal big team. kung na-promote ka na? From apprentice na nag Sige, mga 4, 4 to 6 months yata. Four, four to six months. Pero full time ka pa din. I I mean <laughs> full time. I had work. I had work. Okay. So weekends and so. When I saw na uh, when I became a junior photo, that's when I saw started to build up my portfolio. Kasi don, uh, you build your own portfolio. You know? So parang there's a marketing team that uh, uh, would help you create your portfolio. Basta ikaw, bigay ka ng photos na gusto mong ito. Parang gano'n. So, um, kung masipag ka, diba, mapapansin ka. Kasi doon, ang booking was for your photographer. Parang pili ka. Yun yung photographer na bubook mo sa team. So, kailangan ka mag-stand out. So, yun. Uh, yun. Ano ba yun? Yun. So, after four... When I had, uh, nakikita ko na nagpipick up na siya, you know, it was uh, nakapagod. You have regular work, tapos may prenups ka na, kinsa mag-leave ka on a weekday, just to shoot a prenup. Para mag-shoot. Or, uh, or do the wedding ng weekend. Um, tapos pagod na pagod ka, and then Monday, pasa pa. So when I saw na it was picking up already, uh, I started to pray about it, and... Uh, decide noon na, uh, okay, tatalo na ba ako? Kung ito na talaga yung gusto ko ngayon. Kung magpupuntan ka na ba, sir? Hindi na yung tanong. Hindi mm-hmm. yung tanong ko. So, read about it. Just when I, I said yes, you know, I, go, I think this is something I want to do for a long time. So, wala na ako. Never look back. Jumped on it. So, may tunnel vision na yun. Focus ko was... Oh, I want to get good. I want to get better. So, I anong be year yan? I want to be the best. Anong year yung nag-decide ka mag full-time? 2007 uh, yata? 8? 7, so, 8? Almost 1 to 2 years. Mabilis lang. lang. Oh. Mm. Wow. And then sir, yun na yung nag-create ka ng sarili mo ng studio? No, I stayed for 5 years. Ah, sa so, imagination. Uh, Hmm, so 2006, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 2011, I was still shooting. 2011, ako kasi kinasal. Mm. So when I, when I got married, that when uh, I decided na kami ng uh, asawa ko na, let's start our own already. So I did my juke five years. So, uh, parang I wanted to grow more. Kasi I wanted to build on the style that I like. So, ayun, lakas loob. Start your own business. Sir, sa umpisa ba yun nung nag-start ka? Nire-register mo din ba kagad or hindi mo na? Nag-register. Agad na BPA. Hit, hit BPA muna. Tapos huh. slowly did the <coughs> BIR stuff and then look for an office to, so parang I wanted it to be a legal uh, business so mm-hmm. parang I wanted to be in a uh, uh, long-term 
kind of look mo. Okay. Sir, saan nakuha, saan mo nakuha yung pangalan na Chestnuts? Dati ba yun, sir? Chestnuts Photography? Tapos ginawa mo lang sa Chestnuts. Dati. Uh, it was a uh, brainstorming siya. So, of course, when I left Imagination, I could have just uh, went with the uh, name ko. No? JJ Lupas Photography. Because at that time, okay naman eh. It would, it would grow. No? Kasi people then was looking at or you know, shooter, diba? by names yun, ano eh, yung how people went, yung mga people who were at the top, you know, by the name, alam mo, okay siya, name niya. Yeah. But ako, I followed my mentors, uh, framework na parang, I wanted to build a team, no? so I had to think of a name, na I would build on to brand. So, ang habil ko was a brand. Not, not the... You know, they wanted to grow it. And they wanted to uh, make a team. So, parang yun, I wanted to copy a model in a, by a brand. So, it could you know, uh, really grow pa. Expand and grow. Hindi lang like name ko, face ko yun and the... <laughs> It would run for a long time. So, um, at that start, syempre, may hirap siya. Imagine mo, um, we, at, we did the bridal fair. Nakas loob lang. Sa kalagay check sa studio. No one passed by our booth. As in, close to zero. Or mga uh, year 2013 na yan, no? 2000. Ha? 2011. 2013 na. 11 yun, 2011, 12 yata, 12? Uh, 11 to 2012. Yeah, yeah, so, it was a, a rough start, you know? parang we were figuring out things, yung mga, yung mga packages namin, sa iba-iba, parang, uh, yung style nun, no? it's different, so what you see now, and, uh, uh, Kapsoy pa siya uh, So, it was a growing, uh, painful project. Uh, to build a brand. Uh, it was not easy. We had a lot of mistakes. But we grew from those and improved uh, each year. So, Nabanggit mo yung bridal fair. Dun sa first bridal fair niyo, sir, ilan ang nabook mo? Parang isa lang yata o dalawa or something. <laughs> Sir, magkano pa ang oh, rate ng bridal fair nun? Nung panahon na yun, mas mahal ba kaysa na lang na yun? Pag sumali ka ng bridal, ng bridal fair? Mura pa nun. Mura pa nun. Mura pa nun. Yeah, I forgot na how much it's mura pa nun. Pero our booth nun was just uh, DIY namin nung kami-kami lang gumawa. Mm. So, so, yung mga pictures pa nga nun, pero hindi ko na makikita. <laughs> Sobrang... Nagpa-bridal fair pa din ba kayo? Yes, ngayon. Uh-huh. Hanggang ngayon? Oh, ngayon. Okay. Usually, first quarter, saka third quarter. Okay. Ng year. Okay, sir. Ano pa? Ano pa question mo? Okay, sir. Ito, ah... Uh... Anong mapapayo mo, sir, sa mga nag-start pa lang sa photography? Ah, okay. Mababalagan, no? Okay, nakapag-start na, pero nandun pa lang sila sa mababa pa lang. Parang gano'n. Uh, if you're just starting, dalawa lang naman yan. It's either you uh, either are fully committed, so meaning each day you live and breathe yung, yung passion mo. And you do the hard work. You know? What do you mean by hard work? It's like, you know, it's different. Eh? If you're hard working, you're active in uh, building your brand, uh, it's pretty easy now. Eh? Because it's social media. Na siya ngayon, eh? And before it was, you need publish your name in a magazine. You need to sali ka ng sali ng bridal fair or um, before it was uh, uh, more, I think more 
and but difficult to get your work out there. No. Uh, right? so easy. You can build a blog, you can build your uh, Facebook page, build an Instagram account. <coughs> and people will just are quick to just check your work on that before you fire up on you. Kailangan pa maggawa ng portfolio, mag, uh, set a meeting, and then. But then I think it's much easier. But you still need to um, do it. You still need to uh, constantly update your portfolio and your works. And I guess if you're just starting, the the advice is to you know, uh, offer your work to friends. You know, to makalala mo. You know, para kailangan mo na mag-build ng pictures mo eh. Or like, yeah, uh, try to apprentice. Ayun ko lang yung nag-apprentice pa ngayon. Or like, shoot for someone else muna. Or a friend na uh, i-look up to na para <coughs> you wanna learn. And then, when you get that confidence and, you know, start to build your your own man. Uh, so, you know, Sabi nga nila, pag walang tiyaga, walang nilaga. Walang nilaga. <laughs> okay, sir. Uh, sabi nga yung iba dito, sir. Pero, uh, sa anong sang sikreto na bakit nyo naabot, paano nyo naabot yung ganyang level na Isa na kayo sa pinakakilala din, sir, dito sa Philippines, eh. Na photographer. Anong, sa, anong parang sikreto, sir? Secret? Uh, for me, it's a uh, couple of things. Hindi siya pwedeng one secret lang. You know? Mm-hmm. It's uh, building, when you build your brand, it should be consistent. Number one. So, you should be in every time someone, you know, pagkuwasa ka ng makdo, may pwede ka ng chicken nugget. So, alam mo, yung lasa, pareho, kahit mag pwede ka sa ibang branch. Correct? Yeah. Diba? So, it's the same thing. When uh, people get their service, uh, kung ano yung labas mo sa portfolio, yun dapat lalabas din sa ano, sa client, di ba? Hindi yung pay-bye. Challenge. Hindi yung ano, sir? Hindi yung pay-bye ba ang kulay, no? Hmm. Before, pay-bye ba rin kami doon? Kasi hindi namin pa alam ko ano yung uh, simple na gusto namin. But it was, it was a growing process. So ngayon, it's ganun. You're trying to be consistent. No? And then yung style. Kasi that's what we separately from the rest. If you build on just a style that you are comfortable with and that you love, then uh, you bank on that. Yun yung patuguin mo. So, kami, that's what we do. So, three words lang kami. Uh, it's organic, dynamic, and beating. So, yung mga shots, every time I remind the team, it should fall on those three. So, one of those, two of those, or combine, ganyan. Parang, um, parang consistent kami. And then number three is, when you have a team, parang ganun yung mindset na you bring to the table. Or as a mentor, yun yung tuturo ko rin na parang, okay, this is how I talk to a client, how I shoot a portrait, shoot a detail. Tapos we learn from each other. Kasi sila rin, may input sila. So, it's a collaboration of uh, ideas, no? And then I would just guide them where, oh, okay, pwede siya sa brand natin, pasok siya. Or ito parang, ah, um, hindi, mukha siyang hindi pasok. So, it's a uh, constant communication. So, what do na yun, di ba? Um, you be consistent. Parang, second is, have a clear identity. No? Third is, uh, you are able to, um, do it together as a team. And uh, fourth would be, uh, I guess, hard work. Kasi kailangan mo talagang uh, 
sa panahon ngayon, uh, very competitive siya. No? I think there are more than 400 plus photographers yata in the country alone. Diba? And it's always growing and need to be on top of the game. Bagong technique, bagong style, bagong way of uh, showing facing your work. Parang updated pala. Uh, the last is uh, connection. It's all for time. So what do you mean by connection? It's like your relationship with two suppliers, coordinators, videographers, makeup artists, um, stylists. So these are people that are part of the uh, wedding industry that um, you know you need to also reach out and spend time with, talk to them during a shoot or like uh, message message be uh, friends with them on Facebook or Instagram. We parang follow each other, complement their work, or give some of the, for example, may nakaw work kana suppliers. So you took some shots to go share the shots with the designer, with the stylist. You finally have something to post also. So it goes around. So when when you are kind to or generous to um its suppliers, I think it goes around. And if they would remember you, they would refer you to their couples, diba? And especially those who are the same kind of vibe, no style. Maybe but the last game of the forward then always. So Refer, 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 Important pa rin siya. I guess, inisip ko lang ngayon, medyo down talaga yung industry. But I guess when it, uh, when it comes back, it's, uh, it's good to practice it pa rin. Like, kahit na, ngayon online lahat eh. <coughs> Do a meeting of mine. Yes, yeah, sir. Speaking uh, of pandemic na yun, paano, ang paano nyo, sir, na ano, uh, ay, siyempre, mga photographers na sa event industry, mga walang kita ngayon, sir, eh, gawa nitong pandemic. Anong ma-advise mo sa mga, ano, kapwa natin? Ayun nga, eh. Uh, madaming uncertain pa, you know? Uh, I don't know until when magiging safe to really hold events again. Uh, but during this time, I guess it's the time to think of uh, updating yourself, you know, uh, learn something new, or opportunity for work. Uh, try to find something that you can substitute for. And uh, try to uh expand your knowledge again. Uh, and uh, if something clicks no if something works out then i guess uh, you can continue that get bumalik na yung uh, normal nothing uh really um it's a uh, no one expected naman uh, this, that this will happen and uh, ang lakas ng effect din eh, not only to the I guess, event industry but the whole world. Yes, sir. So you're not alone. Um, so I see some people, they're starting to be creative. They're holding uh, online classes, they're holding online. But in food industry, naging diba, delivery na yun. Diba? So, tayo. Hindi mo naman pwedeng deliver yung talent mo, diba? Hindi <laughs> mo pwedeng deliver yung... Kasi sa atin, it's very... We need a person in front of us. I've seen some people who are creative, no? like online uh, wedding, online... You know, it's a... Uh, galing. So I think creativity will always be there. So it's just a matter of how we can evolve after and during the pandemic. Okay. Sir, may tanong ako. Kung meron kang isang studio na paglalabasan or kukunin kang freelance, kanina ka lalabasan? Mag-shoot ka sa kanya for wedding? <laughs> uh, and I believe I go for those na parang medyo same kami or naging friends ko na na mm-hmm. industry. One would be si Nelwin, Nelwin Uy. 
Mm-hmm. You know, uh, nakajog ko yun eh. Si Brian Venezio, si... Mga kasabayan mo ba yun, sir? Mga hmm, kasabayan si Mel. mo? Nung una si Mel. Nung si Mel sa akin. A couple of years at... <clears throat> so, these are the people na... Um, may group nga kami eh. We've been chatting. So, parang once... Uh, Siyempre ngayon, lahat nang gilisked ng mga weddings, diba? So, plan namin. So, for example, may gusto magpamove talaga at hindi na kami available, magpapasahan na kami ng clients. Saan na i-refer na namin isa't isa. So, before ito, hindi, ako yung pwede ba? Kahit ano mangyari, it's my end. And, and I see na, you know, we want to help each other. Siyempre, we need, everyone needs uh, to inspire para in each other and to spread the work, you know. And uh, we're praying lang na, you know, the events or the weddings would really uh, come back. And uh, feeling nga namin, it's gonna be more, more intimate weddings na lang. Mm-hmm. Which is not bad, di ba? May imagine mo, like, 20 packs wedding, di ba? It's, uh, number one, it's easier to shoot. Number two, hindi ka papagod, di ba? And number three, mas real yung, I guess, emotions that you can capture from a small wedding, di ba? Uh, yun. So, looking forward to the day na malabas na ulit yung mga cameras. <laughs> Sobrang... Uh, <laughs> yun, yeah, what else? Uh, sir, ito na. Ang tawag nito? Wala sa isip yung tanong ko. <coughs> so, nag-double booking ba kayo? For a wedding? For a day? Double uh, booking? Meron, yes. So, we have uh, two teams. One is led by me. One is led by Ron. Ron Contrera. Mm, siya yung parang main mo dun, sir. Sa mm. Sir, paano nyo ngayon inihahandle yung ano? Meron na ba kayong client ngayon na parang cancel na lang? Ang wala pa naman. Wala Lahat pa. move eh. Lahat uh, move. Okay. Pero meron kasi certain sa group ng uh, photo. Ano daw, paano daw ba i-handle yung mga client na parang since pandemic naman, cancel na lang for refund. They are asking for a refund. Uh, I think you can, ano pa rin yun, save pa rin, encourage. No? Parang, uh, kasi they work hard for it, number one. Uh, but I guess you have to be sensitive muna to the emotion, no? Kasi syempre, devastated yun. Imagine mo, no, one year preparation, or more than a year preparation, tapos biglang wala, di ba? So parang, you have to give them time. And then encourage lang na, hey, you know, uh, you can still hold small, a smaller event, move it to a later date. And uh, yung parang, uh, it can still happen. Kasi yung may important na makasal ka, di ba? You, know, you might be worrying about, oh no, paano yung big, uh, engranding plans that you had. Yeah, it's a challenge, but when you look, when you look at the essentials, you know, ngayon, di ba, when you go out for grocery, yung essentials yung talaga yung, uh, yun na yung pinukuha mo ngayon. And, and dati, I, think, I guess, that's my lesson din this pandemic mo na parang, ano nga lang ba talaga yung kailangan ko? Diba? Uh, and, it, and then I saw na, okay, ito lang pala yung mga kailangan ko. Then I saw na, okay, when, uh, after this pandemic, mas clear sa akin, na mas, hindi na ako sa, what is needed lang. Kaysa yung, ah, oh, gusto ko, gusto ko. So I guess with the same thing with uh, couples, I just need to encourage na, uh, hey, yung pinaka-important yung part naman is that you guys get married. No? And then, it could be a small wedding, it could be a held in a simple way. But the, ano yun, is, pinasal kayo in the end, you got married, diba? Yun naman yung goal, eh. Diba? It's not to hold, uh, you know, a super in grand, uh, Wedding, of course, to celebrate pa rin, of course. Uh, but now, it's, it's still more, how can you adapt what you what you wanted to what you need 
Oh, what is, ano lang, tinit mo lang halfway. Tuloy mo pa rin. Pero yan, I guess yan, yeah, some would cancel. You can't help it. No? Um, uh, you don't know their, uh, have to, yeah, you have to know your clients first. Pero, uh, understand lang. And uh, help them also. But to see how you can still push through you know, with the with the event. Okay. Sir, di na tayo magtatamos. Any last message na lang, sir, sa mga kapwa natin photographers? Any last message? Uh, lalo, na sa, uh, lalo na sa mga <laughs> nag-uumbisa na, sir. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a great time ngayon to reflect on your craft. Um, don't get rusty. Still shoot something, you know, kahit sa bahay ka lang. Practice, Mega challenge. Practice. Mega challenge. <laughs> Mega challenge. Mega challenge. Eh, challenges, pwedeng salihan. And um, expand your knowledge. And uh, at the same time, also, on uh, a practical side, just uh, look for something first na you, know, you can earn from, kahit pa konti, onti. Habang, kasi hindi naman bigla babalik yung events eh. You know, when you might be thinking, okay, na-lift ng May 15, okay, balik. Well, it's not, you know, it's not, hindi siya ganun. So everybody will still be anxious, scared, or social distancing. Yeah. So at that time, uh, yeah, find something that you can earn from para na masustain. If you're just sustaining yourself, or, you know, uh, you know, that's the only way you need to survive. Because I, I, I see na latter part of the year, up to 2021, I slowly babalik. Mm-hmm. So during this time, you know, we need to be creative with uh, uh, how to look forward. Ayun. Thank you, Sir JJ Lucas. Sir, invert mo naman sila na, ano, like, subscribe ang aking channel. Ezekiel channel? Abarca. <laughs> Ezekiel Abarca. <laughs> yeah, guys, follow Ezekiel. Ikaw, di pa ito narinig, eh? like, anong story mo and stuff, ha? Eh? So, <laughs> channel mo ba yan? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Pinost ko na, sir, uh, yung muna ako nag, ano, ako nung video ko dun. Kung paano ako nag just... So, I, I pray that you uh, also uh, grow in your craft. No? So, you just started. So, you started ba? Kano ka ba nag-start? Uh, tw- uh, almost four years na, sir. Four years? Yes, sir. So, and I guess madami ka nang tutunan in those four years, di ba? Yes, sir. Ayan. So, continue mo lang yun. And then, uh, just take the good of those four years. And paano mo siya mapapag-grow. So, yeah. Thanks for having me. Thinking of me. Thank you, sir. We'll do so, this uh, interview. Uh, 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 You're welcome. I'm so happy. That's fun of the Macy's, sir. Yung Macy's nyo. Ano? Fun of the Macy's. The Macy's nyo. Thanks, thanks. Ayun. So, that's it. Um, keep safe. Hey, guys. Click, click like and subscribe to the channel of Ezekiel Abarca. And uh, it's continue to inspire each other. Thank you, sir. Sir, sobrang maraming salamat. Makakapang, sir, JJ Lucas of Chestnut Studios. Maraming maraming okay. salamat. God bless, sir. Thank you po. Sige. Okay. Sir. Bye. Bye.